With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Center a metal scale of length 30 cm and an object. The scale is calibrated for temperature 20 degrees Celsius. What is the actual length of division which is shown, which is shown as 1 cm by scale at 40 degrees Celsius given alpha s is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 5 minus 5 degrees Celsius. So in the first part what the question is asking is that due to the expansion because the scale was calibrated at 20 degrees Celsius and now we are measuring at 40 degrees Celsius due to the expansion the length of the scale has changed and the new length is 1 centimeter which means L plus delta L is equal to 1 centimeter this is a part so L plus delta L is equal to 1 centimeter delta L is given as alpha times L times delta capital T is equal to 1 centimeter which means L into 1 plus alpha delta capital T is equal to 1 centimeter which means L is equal to 1 centimeter upon 1 plus alpha is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. So 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 into delta T is 40 degrees minus 30 minus 20 degrees. So 40 minus 20 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 into 20 which turns out to be 0 0.9996 centimeters so this is the actual length of the 1 centimeter which is being shown by the scale at 40 degrees celsius now the b part of the question asks what will be the reading of scale at 40 degrees celsius if the actual length of object is 10 centimeter so basically it is what it is asking is l is equal to 10 centimeters what is l dash l dash is l plus delta l at 40 degrees celsius so once again the formula is simple l plus alpha l delta t is equal to l 1 plus alpha delta t is equal to 10 centimeters into 1 plus 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 delta t is once again 40 minus 20 so 20 which gives us 10 Point zero zero four centimeters. Now the C part of the question asks what will be the actual length of object at 40 degrees Celsius if measured length is 10 centimeter. So what basically this means is C L plus delta L is equal to 10 centimeter and we have to find out capital L. So L plus alpha L delta capital T is equal to 10 which means L into 1 plus alpha delta capital T is equal to 10 which means capital L is equal to 10 upon 1 plus alpha delta t which means l is equal to 10 1 plus 2 into 10 is to the power minus 5 into delta t is 40 degrees minus 20 degrees so 40 minus 20 is equal to 9.996 centimeters now the d part of the question 
is what is the percentage percentage error in measurement for part D and C. So percentage error percentage error is given as measured value minus expected value divided by expected value times 100 so for part B the measured value is 10 centimeters minus sorry for part B the measured value is the value that we found out that means the value that the scale had shown when the temperature was 40 degrees Celsius so the measured value is 10.004 centimeter so 10.004 minus the real value which is 10 upon the real value into 100 which turns out to be 0 0.004 into 100 upon 10 is equal to 0 0.04 percent now error in C once again the measured value is the measured value is 10 centimeter so 10 centimeter minus the actual value that we found out 9.996 9.996 divided by the actual value 9.996 into 100 which gives us 0 0.004 on 9.996 into 100 which is equal to approximately 0 0.04 now the E part for the question it says if the linear expansion coefficient of object is alpha naught is equal to 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 and neglecting the expansion of scale then answers of B and C parts are so in the so now it is talking that instead of expanding the scale the object itself is expanding with and with the coefficient of linear expansion as 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. So what I'm going to do is for part B. For part B, what will the reading of scale at 40 degrees Celsius if the actual length of object is 10 centimeters? So what we are going to do is the original length for part B. The original length is given as 10 centimeters. We have to find out L dash of the object. So L dash is equal to L plus alpha naught L delta capital T is equal to 10 plus 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 into 10 into final minus initial which is once again 40 minus 20 which gives us 10 into 1 plus 4 into 10 is to the power minus 5 into 20 equals to 10.008 centimeters. Now the C part, in the C part, the measured length at 40 degrees Celsius was given as 10 centimeters. So L dash is equal to 10 centimeters. 
and we have to find out L. So L plus alpha alpha not L delta capital T is equal to L dash is equal to 10 centimeters capital L is equal to 10 by 1 plus alpha naught delta T is equal to 10 upon 1 plus 4 into 10 is to power minus 5 into 40 minus 20 which equals to 9.992 centimeters no, the, F part. the F part says that if alpha naught is equal to 4 into 10 is to the power minus 5 and alpha s is equal to 2 into 10 is to the power minus 5 then find answers of B and C part. So what this F part is talking about is that let's say this was your scale and let's say this was your object now at 40 degrees Celsius so since it was at 40 degrees Celsius the problem was that this this objects actual length was only this much but due to the temperature it had expanded and its length was showing to be this much but this scale, this scale 2 had expanded due to the temperature. So its actual length was only this much. But due to the expansion, it was showing up to this point. So what we are going to do is, we are going to take either one of them, either the scale or the object, take its length at 40 degrees Celsius. Calculate its length at 20 degrees Celsius and then take this length as the reading for the scale and then take that reading and convert it into reading at 20 degrees Celsius. So, a quick recap we are going to take the length of the object. We are going to take the length of the object. We are going to convert that length into its length at 20 degrees Celsius. We are going to take that length as the reading on the scale and then convert it into the reading at 20 degrees Celsius. So this is the F part and F part B. So in B part, the actual length of object is 10 cm and we have to find the reading of scale at 40 degrees Celsius, right? So instead of the readings at 40 degrees, we have been given the reading at 20 degrees. So what? So I have the length of the object at 20 degrees. I will convert this length into what the length should be at 40 degrees. Take this length as the reading of the scale, the reading at 20 degrees and convert that reading into the reading at 40 degrees. So, the length at 20 degrees is 10 centimeters. To convert it into length at 40 degrees, I will need L at 20, 1 plus alpha of object times delta capital T. This is equal to 10 into 1 plus 4 into 10 is to the power minus 5 into 20 is equal to actually we have calculated this earlier so i i can pick that value from there so 10 into 1 plus 4 into 10 is to the power, to the power 5 minus into 20 is equal to 10.008 centimeter 10.008 centimeter this is the length so at 40 degrees celsius the object is measuring as 10.0008 centimeters on a scale that is calibrated for 20 degrees celsius right so now i'm going to take this as the 
the length of the scale or the length on the scale at 20 degrees. Let's say it LS. Right? And then expand it to 40 degrees. So, L is equal to 10.008. I have to find L dash. L dash will be equal to L plus into 1 plus alpha of scale delta capital T is equal to 10.008 into 1 plus alpha s is 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. So 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 into 20. Which turns out to be 10.012 centimeters. Now the C part. In the C part, what will be the actual length of object at 40 degrees Celsius? If it is measured, then it is 10 centimeters. So at 40 degrees Celsius, at 40 degrees Celsius, its, its length is turning out to be 10 centimeters. Right, so I'm going to convert this length into what the length would have been at 20 degrees Celsius. This is the length of object. So I will have the length of the object at 20 degrees Celsius. And now I will take this length as the reading on the scale at 40 degrees Celsius and then convert it into the reading that should have been at 20 degrees Celsius. And that would be my actual length. So, reading at 40 degrees Celsius is 10 centimeters, which will be equal to L at 20 degrees Celsius plus L at 20 degrees Celsius times alpha of object times delta capital T, which means L of 20 degrees Celsius is equal to 10 upon 1 plus alpha. 0 delta t which is equal to 10 upon 1 plus 4 into 10 is to the power minus 5 into 20 now this we have calculated earlier so i can pick that value from there so 10 upon 1 plus 4 into 10 is to the power minus 5 into 20 gives us 9.992 centimeters so this is the length of the object that should have been at 20 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to use this as the reading at 40 degrees Celsius. So the reading of scale at 40 degrees Celsius is 9.992 centimeters, which means L plus L at 20 degrees Celsius plus L at 20 degrees Celsius times alpha of scale times delta T is equal to 9.992 centimeters. This will be equal to capital L 1 plus alpha S delta T is equal to 9.992 which means capital L is equal to 9.992 upon Upon 1 plus 2 into 10 is to the power minus 5 into 20 is equal to 9.988 centimeters. So that is our answer for F part. So a quick recap. What we did was in the in the A part we had been given the length after the expansion so we find we found out the length before the expansion in the b part we had been given the 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 reading after the expansion and we we found out the reading before the expansion in the c part we had been given the reading before the expansion and we found out the reading after the expansion in the d part we found out the errors in the e part we found out 
we found out the b part and c part by using the coefficient of linear expansion of the object instead of the scale so we basically uh, so in in e part for the b part we found out the length of the object before expansion and in c part after expansion and in the f part we considered the expansion of both the objects and and for the b and while solving the b part for the f part we found out the the length after expansion and for the c part length before expansion for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today